It is very blustery. Four degrees outside here right now. It got down to two degrees at around noon. It's back up to four. We're checking on our livestock right now. And I got some warm oats for the chickens. Warm oats. We'll see if they like it. Here, we'll go put some on the other side. Apparently, they do like it. Apparently, they do like it. Well, apparently they do like the warm oats. Thunder! Thunder! Here, boy! Thunder! Come on, boy. Come on, boy. All right, with this cold weather, this four degree temperature, how am I keeping my house warm? Well, I'm using a wood fire boiler. I'm actually burning firewood. So I'm using this wood fire boiler, and what I'm doing is I'm boiling water, or it's not actually at boiling, it's really a water warmer. Boiling would be 212 degrees. I bring the water temperature up to 180 degrees, and I use a water pump and cycle that through the house. Here is the wood fire boiler. So, in the back of the boiler, I have temperature controller. This device is just a microcontroller. I set it to the temperature that I want the water to be at and the differential. That is just two numbers that I have to set. I set the temperature to 180 degrees. When the temperature of the water falls 10 degrees below that temperature, which is the differential, it kicks on this blower down here. The, there is a water jacket around that fire. The fire heats up the water, which comes through this line right here, through this water pump. This water pump flows water down and through this pipe into the big house. Into the big house. After the water comes, does its job over there, the water comes back into through this pipe back to here and it's going through this T-junction and then it's going back down underground to the tiny house. Show the tiny house. After it does its job in there, it comes back on this blue line here and it goes into the bottom of the boiler to get warmed up again. The water is constantly being pumped around.
right, now we usually do not load it while the blower is on because having that blower on causes the heat to just blow out and little sparks like that. It's safe to do that right now because when we have snow everywhere. Uh, and then every so often we'll empty out the ashtray at the bottom. This right here is the water to air heat exchanger. This is basically a glorified radiator is all it is, just like in your vehicle. This here is a bypass valve. This bypass valve is turned on and off by the thermostat. Whenever the thermostat calls for heat, this turns all the way on. That allows water to flow through the water to air heat exchanger. This right here is our water to water heat exchanger. So our domestic hot water loop runs through this device right here at all times. And then the boiler runs through this at all times. Whenever the water is flowing or whenever we ask for hot water, hot water is heated up through this and it's sent back out to the water tank out in the well house, the water heater out in the well house. Now, again, the water heater out in the well house is only heating when the boiler is not running. Now, this is for the hot water loop. The hot water loop is for our domestic hot water that goes into the tiny house, comes out of the tiny house, comes to the big house, and then comes back to the well house where the hot water tank is currently housed. This small 20 gallon hot water tank supplies the hot water for the entire property. Through that circulator pump on top, the water is circulated through those pipes and then brought back to this water heater to get worn back up. However, when we have the boiler lit, the hot water is heated solely by the boiler through a heat exchanger that is mounted in the big house. And all this is controlled by this Nest thermostat. Yeah, I'm controlling a the boiler's heat with, well, not the boiler's heat, but the heat of the house with the thermostat. This thermostat tells that blower in the air handler to kick on, as well as when it says it's calling for heat, it turns on the bypass valve. There you have it. That is how we heat our home. To catch you next time, please uh, like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and ring that notification bell, and I'll keep these videos coming. Thank you very much.